one shot, one kill. Our tree season packing up. The goal is to hike into a spot and camp there for three days. My brother Nathan is coming with me. This is my bowl. This is my fat backpack. This is what I used last year and I got my six by six. So I'm gonna use the same broadheads to see what they can do to the elk this year. One shot, one kill. One arrow, bro. Same with last year. Just one arrow. One shot. I mean, what else do you need, bro? You're so precise. That's true. Actually. Start start sure. taking one arrow with you, and that's all. Bro, perfect spot to shoot a bull. Making hurt. I was sure in my shot too. Oh yeah. I was like, I know this arrow is gonna hit him. Bam. Bro, calculated it. I was it. more, I was more thinking about should I shoot him or no. Literally, I was thinking about that. Like, do I shoot this guy or no? Do I shoot this guy or no? I'm gonna get a big one. And watch this guy. Yeah. Hopefully, bro. Mm, this thing's big. Yo, look, 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 look bow into the antlers <laughs> you should hang your bow on your antlers now 2024 archery elk season has come to an end for me it is september 1st right it's september 1st it is september 2nd labor day labor day Boom. let us labor on this elk didn't go as planned because I was planning to camp here for five days and got this guy in the first couple hours. Even though I was holding off for a bigger one, I wanted to hold off for a bigger one. He came out and gave me the perfect opportunity, showing me his six by six rack, which I thought was a five by five. And I was like, I, I drew back and I was like debating, should I shoot him, should I not? Should I shoot him, should I not? And I was like, you know, whatever. I'd let it fly. He dropped in about 40 yards. Really happy about it, and it's a very easy pack out, all downhill. I was using my Bowtech bow. I was using my Magnus Stingers broadheads. Some people don't like these, but I do. This is the second bull that I killed with them, and it only took one shot, and the elk dropped in about 40 yards also. And straight through the shoulder blade, into the heart and the lungs. I'm gonna, Cut him up and see what happened in there.